are you debating whether or not to move to the great old state of Texas and you're trying to decide between Austin, Texas and Tyler, Texas? Well, in today's video, I'm going to walk through both Austin and Texas and a couple of points comparing the two to figure out together whether Austin or Tyler is the best place for you and your family to move to. Howdy, howdy, howdy everyone and welcome back to the channel. For everyone new here, my name is Ronnie Withers and if you wanna know what it's like to live, eat, sleep, work and play in Tyler, Texas and the surrounding areas, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you are the first to be notified on any single Tyler, Texas market update. My team and I are getting calls every single day of people just like you who are looking to either relocate to Tyler, move within Tyler, or sell their Tyler home. So if that does sound like you, please reach out, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We will get together, we will hop on a phone call, and we will get you into your dream Tyler home. Now, yes, I did just mention Tyler, Texas a lot, and what I just said, and I put that out there straight away that I am a real estate agent here in Tyler, Texas. So my bias, you know where my bias will lie in this video. However, I'm gonna try my best to keep this video nice and balanced as unbiased as possible. So we have Austin, Texas, and we have Tyler, Texas, both very, very good choices of places to move to in the great state of Texas. Now, there are similarities and there are some big, big differences between the two places. So today, what we're gonna do, the goal of the video is to try and walk you through both the similarities and the differences to give you a lot of a better idea on what city to move to in Texas. Now let's start with a little bit of the basics, a little bit of information about the two. You're gonna have Austin, which is more in the central region of Texas, and you're gonna have a population in Austin of around 2.176 million people. Compare that to Tyler, Texas, which is in East Texas. It's the biggest city in East Texas. And we here in Tyler have a population of around 115 thousand people in the metro area of Tyler. It's obviously bigger as you go out, the same with Austin. So we have 115,000 people in Tyler, Texas compared to 2.176 million people in Austin. So right away, you can see the big size difference in Austin compared to Tyler. Tyler is a very much more of a small town. It's a city, but it's got a small town feel. And then you have Austin, which is more of a bigger Texas city. And along with the size difference between Tyler and Austin, we also have a growth difference. In the last couple of years, Austin has been growing at a percent of 2.79% growth compared to Tyler, which has been growing at around 1.15%. So Austin is growing at a higher rate than Tyler is. Both are very good places to move to, especially Tyler, because I work in the Tyler area. I see many, many people, a lot of people coming to me every day wanting to move to Tyler. But you take that and you double it, almost triple it, and then that is the population increase of Austin, Texas. So that is one thing to keep in mind when you are looking at places is Austin is growing at a faster rate. So along with that, you're going to have some of the positives and negatives of a city growing at a higher rate. One of those positives and negatives is one of the main factors that we're gonna look at when we're gonna look at cost of living, and that's gonna be home prices. So Austin, Texas has an average home price at the moment of around $527,000. Now let's compare that to Tyler, Texas, which used to be a lot lower, I will give you that, but at the moment it is sitting at $358,234. Now I have more accurate information for Tyler because I just searched the MLS. So that is the sold data within the last three months of January of 24 that we're sitting at now. So let's compare the two. So I have Austin around 527,000 and compare that to Tyler around 360,000. So Tyler in general is a lot less expensive to live in than Austin, Texas. And that kind of makes sense. Austin growing at a faster rate is a lot bigger of a city. You just have more people, more competition moving and living there. So the home price, the average home price is going to be a little bit higher. So if home price is one of the top things on your list, you want a really affordable home, potentially Tyler is the better place, but we're still going to look at a lot more things. Home price, even though it is a very big thing to look at, it's not the only thing. So let's have a look at some other things. The next category is things to do. And I will say up front, even though I'm from Tyler, Austin completely blows Tyler out of the water when it comes to things to do. Austin, being a big city, has almost anything you could ever imagine being in it. Now, Austin is known for the slogan of keep Austin weird. So 
it has grown a little bit from that. It used to be a small college town, a bit of a weird area in Texas, but a really kind of hippie place to be, which I'm not saying it isn't that anymore. However, it is changing a little bit because of so many people moving there, a lot of non-Texans moving to Austin. However, you, in Austin, you're gonna have anything you could ever want. You're gonna have coffee shops, you're gonna have loads of different places to eat. You're gonna have almost anything you could think of you would wanna do that have it in Austin. There's something to do every night of the week. There's nightclubs, there's bars, there's theaters, there's plays, there's anything you could think of. Now compare that to Tyler. I don't wanna say Tyler has nothing to do. That is not the case and I have done videos saying all the things to do in Tyler. However, just the comparison is, there's almost no comparison. Tyler has a lot of things to do when we have different restaurants, we have bars, we have anything you could need, not necessarily everything you want. That is what I usually like to say. And if you want anything more, you're always a short-ish drive away from Dallas, around an hour and a half away where you can do some of these big things. However, Austin, big city, just so many things to do. It's no comparison compared to Tyler. And one of the big things that shows that is tourism. So Austin has a lot of tourists come visit. Some people just come to Texas just to see Austin. And compare that to Tyler, I don't know of anyone who is just coming to Tyler just to visit Tyler a huge difference in things to do between Austin and Tyler. So if you're the type of person that wants a different thing to do every single day, you always want to be entertained, you want to go out for years and years and not have the same food at the same restaurant more than once, then move to Austin. That is much better than Tyler. Tyler, you're going to have your local restaurants, your local businesses, and there's, because Tyler's so much smaller than Austin, you're going to become very familiar with those things. And most of them are really great in Tyler, but it's just depending on what you want. We're going to briefly look at culture. Like I mentioned a minute ago, Austin used to be the small college hippie town, and it kind of is the same. However, because it's growing so much, and a lot of people who are living in Austin aren't native Texans. So you kind of, you don't have that Texas feel. And then we're gonna be getting into politics in a little bit as well, but briefly, I'll mention, Austin is a little blue dot in a big sea of red, which is Texas. So Austin, you're gonna have a much more liberal place compared to the rest of Texas. It's a very hippie area. It's almost becoming the California of Texas. Now compared that to Tyler, Texas, very conservative, very, very Texas place. If you can imagine what Texas is like, it's gonna be Tyler, Texas. So you're gonna get that authentic Texas small town feel in Tyler and the surrounding areas. So that's a kind of little bit of culture. If you're someone who's moving from potentially California, Maybe Austin is the better place to be because you're going to feel more, more at home. However, if you're moving from somewhere and you do want that authentic Texas feel, then Tyler is going to be much, much better than that because you are going to feel like you're in Texas rather than feeling like you're in California just with worse weather. Jobs and employment is the next thing we're going to look at. Again, because of the size difference and the growth difference between Austin and Tyler, very, very different. Austin, you're going to have a lot of huge businesses. Austin is becoming a huge tech hub at the moment. You're going to have lots of different businesses that are employing a lot of different types of people in different career fields. You're almost going to have anything you could want in Austin when you're looking for a job. Tyler, still a lot of jobs, and I have done a video about the different jobs in Tyler, and I'll link that right here. Tyler, a lot of jobs, however, just not at the same level of Austin. Austin, becoming the tech hub of Texas, you're gonna find pretty much anything you could want. I think Tesla has a new warehouse there. There are so many jobs in Austin. Tyler, have a look at the video I made about the different jobs in Tyler, but if you're working for a big tech firm and you haven't got an office in Tyler, then Austin is probably the best place to go for that. Okay, everyone's favorite topic is gonna to be traffic. So before I moved here to Tyler, I was told that the traffic in Tyler is absolutely awful. It's gonna be the worst in the world that I've ever experienced. And although Tyler drivers aren't the safest and they aren't the best by a long shot, the traffic isn't all that bad. Maybe once a day at rush hour, you're gonna have a little bit of backed up traffic on Broadway, but it's it's really not that bad, especially if you can plan on what times you're going in and out of town. However, compare that to Austin, Austin, one, it's a lot bigger. Two, because it is growing so quickly, it is growing faster than its infrastructure can keep up with. So the traffic in Austin, and I've heard from multiple sources, is very, very bad at a lot of different times of the day. And a lot of times you could just be stuck in traffic every single day if you have to commute from the outskirts of Austin into the middle of Austin. You're going to be in traffic a lot of the time because there are just so many cars on the road and just the road is built for a small 500,000 person town. 
and Austin at just over 2 million people has just grown so large for the city in such a short time that the traffic has not been able to catch up. And Tyler, because we're growing at a slower rate, they're putting more roads in. They're doing maintenance as we speak right now to expand the roadways. So hopefully in the future, maintenance will keep up with the growth rate here in Tyler. So hopefully we won't have that issue that we're having in Austin with everything growing at too quick of a pace. Now I've mentioned it before and I'll mention it one more time, but we're gonna be talking about politics very briefly. I'm sure a lot of you know, Austin, very, very left-wing liberal place basically the California of Texas, blue dot in a red sea. We all know that, if that's your thing, move to Austin. However, compared that to Tyler, which is the complete opposite end of the spectrum, Tyler, very conservative, very Republican, a dark red dot in a red sea. Tyler, very conservative, Austin, not. So if you're the type of person who is very conservative, very Christian, Tyler is the better place for you. However, if you are more left-leaning or even more mid, if you're, if you're kind of middle of the ground in your politics, then maybe I wouldn't suggest moving to Austin, but maybe the outskirts of Austin, where you'll find people with a lot more differing of opinions, then that may be the best place for you. Kind of the same line as politics, safety. Now, this is very frustrating, I know, but as a real estate agent, I can't say anything about crime rates or crime statistics or anything like that. But what I will say is please do your own research. Austin versus Tyler, one of them is the big winner when it comes to crime and how dangerous it is, please just do a quick Google search about Austin crime and then look at Tyler crime and compare the two and you'll find one of them is a lot safer of a place to live than the other. This is coming from a former police officer who really values his safety and family safety. I am very, very happy here living in Tyler. The last point I'm going to make is about the scenery of Austin and Tyler. Now, this is the one where I think both Austin and Tyler are very, very similar. Now, Texas in general isn't known for being the most beautiful of states. However, it's not the ugliest as well. So both Austin and Tyler are gonna be green in general, are gonna have some rolling hills. In Austin, you're gonna have the, the hill country, which is absolutely beautiful, on the outskirts at least. Tyler, you're gonna have a lot of green, a lot of farms, a lot of ranches, rolling hills. You're gonna have lakes, trees, hills, water, the complete opposite of over in West Texas where it's just sandy desert. But both Austin and Tyler are gonna be very similar when it comes to those kind of things. Austin is a little bit more dry, so you're gonna have a little bit less green than the, the piney green fields of East Texas, but both of them have their beauty. So if you're looking at moving to a place because of the scenery, then it's pretty much a tie between Tyler and Austin when it comes to beauty. However, what I will say again, when it comes to size difference is Tyler, if you're in the middle of town, all you have to do is drive 10 minutes and be right out in the middle of nothing, be in the middle of nature and be around the beautiful fields and pine trees compared to Austin. If you're right in the middle of Austin, it's gonna take you a lot longer to get out of the city to be in the middle of nature in the middle of nothing. So it depends how much you wanna drive and you like driving and you like being in the car. That's the difference between Tyler and Austin. So that is a quick whistle stops tour of some of the similarities and the differences between Tyler, Texas and Austin, Texas. And hopefully now you have a lot better of an idea and a lot more information about which one would be best for you. Please let me know down in the comments below which place in Texas Texas, would you prefer to move to? If you'd rather move to Austin and why, or if you'd rather move to Tyler and why? Again, my name is Ronnie Withers. Thank you very, very much for watching the video. Please leave a like if you liked the video and until next time, cheerio.